fellow bike people. Today I bring you a wheelie bike. Now wheelie bikes are kind of a newer subcategory of BMX and it's something I've really wanted to explore for a while now. So in terms of BMX there's two major like parent categories then a bunch of subcategories for each of them. Now I am generalizing here because unlike a lot of other industries there's no set standards in the bike industry or the BMX industry so every company is free to change it up wherever they want and refer to their categories as they please. But for the most part you've got the race BMX bikes and you've got the freestyle BMX bikes. Now BMX bikes for racing, design wise they all follow pretty much the same philosophy. The big difference in the categories is essentially the size of the bike and the rider they're intended for. So at the smallest size you've got the juniors and the minis, then you've got the experts and the pros, then the cruisers with the 24 inch wheels, and the size of the bike is essentially the differentiating factor. That and then the quality where you start getting like carbon fiber, aluminum and all that. Now freestyle bikes, that's the side that I'm much more familiar with and that's what we're talking about today. So for the most part, the freestyle BMX disciplines will be dirt, street, park, flatland, and wheelie bike, which is the kind of new one that I'm talking about today. So if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen this bike before. This is my daily rider. It's a 2004 S&M black bike. Pretty much all freestyle BMX bikes look something like this. They have vaguely the same silhouette, but there's little differences between each of the categories. So this bike is older, but it's a street build. So relative to the other bikes in its time, it's got a steeper head tube angle, it's got a higher standover, and it's built to take a lot of really rough abuse with the sacrifice of being a little bit heavier. Now a dirt BMX, that would have a slacker head tube angle, a much longer back end. A flatland bike would be a super short bike with an extremely steep head tube angle. A park bike would have a much lower standover and so on and so forth. Now when I first got into BMX, big BMX bikes were generally seen as 24 inch cruiser style freestyle bikes. They were all super clunky, super heavy, and really just for people who wanted a BMX look to ride around but weren't actually riding BMX with them. Oh, how times have changed. Big bikes now are actually really well designed, they're rider friendly, and some of them are really, really cool. Basically, every BMX company at the moment makes some variation of the big BMX bike or the wheelie bike. One of the more famous examples would be something like SE Racing's Big Flyers, I think they're called. Like, SE Racing is a brand that was not the most popular when I first got into BMX. It was kind of one of those old school brands that had just survived. These days, they're absolutely huge. Another one that's really popular is Collective. They make a bike, I think it's called the C100, that's a really popular wheelie bike. And on the surface, it looks a bit more like a mountain bike, but the purpose it's designed for is, I would say, a subcategory of BMX, more so than it's a subcategory of mountain biking. So just like the last couple episodes of Project Use Bikes, everything I'm working with today is for the GLE movement. Now this isn't a bike that I'm donating to them, this is a project bike that they had going on that didn't quite work out, so I'm taking it over and making it into something a bit different. of scrap parts. What you saw there was me putting everything together that I thought would suit the bike best. Now because this is parts from the random parts bin, nothing's labeled, nothing's measured, and I'm just kind of throwing stuff on the bike, it's all hit and miss. part everything was working really nicely on it. The frame is in really good shape, uh, I found all the headset parts to make it fit properly, the bar and stem seemed like the right type for a nice wheelie setup. 
The wheels were in kind of rough shape, but they trued up okay and the bearings are running nice and smooth, so no worries there. Everything was going really nicely, but then the first issue I ran into was this. I thought that was a 26 inch fork. Nope, it's a 24 inch fork. Out. I put together a chain out of technically brand new but spare links like extras that had come off brand new chains I think the blue and red chain on there looks kind of cool and I set up the cockpit so the brakes the grips all that made sure it was nice and ergonomic the next problem that can arise when you're working with things from the parts bin. So with the tires fixed up, I put some nicer pedals on it and some thread-on pegs just as a finishing touch. Now these are not grindable pegs, they're kind of for standing on and for show, but they look really cool, they suit the part of this bike. Once I had everything fully set up, that's when I enlisted my fellow bike mechanic, Alex, to give it a little test ride. And we all know I suck at wheelies, so I'm enlisting Alex. At least he's somewhat good at them. Better huh. than me, at least. Semi-capable. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh. <laughs> We can raise the seat up too, eh? But that's, this is like how a wheel bike is supposed to be. Low seat. Haha! <laughs> Haha! <laughs> 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 oh, that's pretty awesome! <laughs> Try to drop the leg a bit. <laughs> I wish I was good at that. Let's give this thing a go. It's my wheel, it's just manuals. That's my shit. Well, I'm pretty useless on this bike. That's our main conclusion here is I can't ride a wheelie bike. Alex kinda can, I can't. It's weird. It's not. It's weird, but not weird. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give it up for a couple more tests. Let's see if we can get one good wheelie for the video. Sounds like a party to me. I'd say that's the good one. Yeah, that was the good one. That was the money shot. He nailed it. He did exactly what we needed. <laughs> it feels nice. It definitely hangs there. When you get it going, it is a really nice wheelie bike. Party on. Someone's gonna love this thing. Woo!
pretty cool. I'm happy with that. I love that Alex has that natural feel for riding bikes. So even though he hasn't ridden a bike that was like this before, and honestly this is a little on the clunky side because it was built out of parts bin stuff, with a little bit of practice, he just picked it up and was wheeling this thing like it was his own bike. So in terms of who this bike is going to go to, all of the bikes are going to students. But I think this bike would be best to go to a taller student, somebody who wants a BMX, but it's just a little too tall to ride some of the BMX bikes or some of the 20 inch models that the GLE movement has available right now. So other than the wheelie bike, I've already tuned up a ton of other bikes for the GLE movement. We got lots of that going on, programs going strong for this year. Last year I think it was 150 bikes or so they donated to students. As far as I can tell, they're on track to beat that this year, and I'm really glad that I can help with it. 